Appreciate y'all joining in this week. We got the man Scott Crawford is always here. Bill Guppy. What's up? We got Kyle Keller. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Tina, the boss man. And we got Ladies. Elvis Ladies. in the building. Elvis is in the building. <laughs> Elvis is in the building. Elvis Page. Hey, man, we want to appreciate and thank you all for showing up, listening to our little Facebook and YouTube page. Um, we always try to give you the best in music news, concert information, new CDs, and a lot of local artists and some of the things they're doing and playing at local bars and different concert halls. Cattle yeah. Apples, no. No. <laughs> yeah. Wherever they may play. Barns. Barns. <laughs> Living rooms, garages, yeah, hey, wherever, man. man. I mean, we support the music, you know. That's right. <laughs> like we say all the time, music is the best medicine. So if you're spreading it, we're loving it. So oh, yeah, yeah, Scott's yeah. spreading something. <laughs> yeah. Well, I usually play music nice. in the bathroom every morning, but that's a different kind of story. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, man. <laughs> so it's been a great week here in wonderful Indiana. Did you get anything special <laughs> with you guys this week? Uh, yeah. Man, I thought it was uh, an exceptionally like kind of heavy news busy story week. week. Uh, yeah. Busy week. Yeah, uh, busy week. I mean, I, I was busy at work, but uh, there was a lot of big stories this week. Uh, some yeah. of them sad, some of them kind of all over the place. Yeah. But yeah. I heard some new stuff we'll yeah. talk about we'll later. that here shortly. <clears throat> Heck yeah. Uh, I, it's a pretty good week, though. Trying to, I've been trying to figure out the weather all week. One day it was yeah, <laughs> really. icing outside, then it was 50, and I took a big walk, and then now today it's snowing. <laughs> yeah, snow what was snow. that funny post I seen? Something like Mother Nature's throwing temperatures around like lotto numbers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you <laughs> know, funny. actually, today is the anniversary of the blizzard of 78. Yes, it is. Dude. Where we had about 20 inches of snow in one day, so that's always... Uh, Interesting um, to reflect back on. I know. remember it. I, I was born. Well. I was born in November of '78. Oh God! So I, that's <laughs> all I'm gonna say. Like, yeah, we remember it. Yeah, I, was like, I was born. You know, I, I was born lost. November of that year. <laughs> I actually lost some Star Wars toys in that. Oh, oh, I believe it, man. I've heard stories and seen pictures, and what they consider a blizzard today, nothing. That's like, that. Yeah, there's nothing like that. So yeah, we didn't uh, go to school. Are you gonna fucking days. die over there? I mean. We, you know, we're not recording a show to record your coughs over there. Yeah, you need Bodily to pull, pull back a little bit. I, I, I thought this was a snuff film. <laughs> uh, it is. You I just don't know it. I think Elvis <laughs> keeps, uh, he started know, putting his hand there to get a cough or something. <laughs> is, he fine, is he fine, Dr. Page? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah well, we already knew that. I'll cough <laughs> and you grab my testicles. <laughs> there. Oh. Uh, now well, he's, now he's talking like he has testicles. Hey, you know, like we said, we really appreciate you guys Thank following you. us. Yeah. Yes. And uh, like we said, you know, if you guys want to share stuff on the page or uh, give us some music ideas, we are very open to it. We are live right now. If you want to give a shout out or uh, ask us questions, you're more than welcome to. We actually really love that. Oh, yeah. So keep that in mind. Uh, <laughs> I so, think, uh, yeah. sorry, Mike, I didn't mean to interrupt, but for the first time this week, I saw. Some people uh, actually shared stuff on our Facebook page, and that yeah. was awesome. That, it's always uh, cool. And also, yeah. I want to say that we do have a new, fresh YouTube page up. We all keep posting links yep. to it. Yep. Please go subscribe and help blow that up, too. We'll be posting stuff on each one pages, yep. some different than the others. But seriously, the more you guys do the YouTube thing, it opens up more for us to do for you guys, yeah. mm -hmm. and it gets us uh, some more donations from record labels and stuff. And that's how it works. So if you guys do that, you're only helping us out so we can get some more stuff to give away and things like that. Which so, helps you out. Yeah, yeah. really. Oh, so yeah. please do that. Oh, yeah, um, please. This week, um, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to let Bill Guffey do the news and kind of go through some of that. While uh, me and Scott and everybody else can give some uh, contribute to it a little bit. So we're going to pop his cherry right now with that. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, I'm grateful and I'm nervous all at the same time, man. <laughs> I'm excited about it. You know, my so, from the beginning, he's been, uh, yeah. <laughs> blessed me with this opportunity and yeah. uh, I'm going to run with it. And hopefully right. it goes as good and smooth as always. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah well, you got this. Uh, yeah, man. I, uh, Just, what? Anyway, moving on. Kyle's over there still making bodily functions. Yeah. Um, I thought this was a big enough story that uh, we could lead with it. 
uh, Pearl Jam has announced a new album. Yep. Um, and they released the first single. And for Pearl Jam, I thought it sounded kind of odd, very yep. different. Um, yeah. Sounded uh, like the Talking Heads or something to me. That was the yeah. com- uh, the majority of people were comparing it to that. Uh, David Byrne, which is uh, Talking Heads. Uh, yeah, very experimental sounding. Yeah. Um, I you, you guys can listen to that on our site too. Yeah, that's right. Every time, every week, I mean, you know, I uh, basically have no life, so I do post <laughs> yes, stuff do. all the time before, like Rolling Stone, Spin, or anybody. So. Uh, you can listen to that on there and uh, uh, get a get a listen to. Yeah, dance of uh, the clan voyance. I think that's yeah. how it's pronounced. Is the uh, yeah clairvoyance. Uh, clairvoyance is how something I like spelled that. it. Um, and I, I I had to look for YouTube videos to get the pronunciation of the album. Gigaton is how they pronounce that. Oh, okay. uh, that's going to be the title. It's a weird name. And for um, the song and the album. Yeah, and they've always kind of had some odd titles and stuff, but. Uh, I, I appreciate the fact that they've been around long enough that they're comfortable to do something experimental and something different. Yeah, I mean, maybe trying to attract the younger right. crowd. When you put your what eleventh album out. out. I mean, <laughs> is it their eleventh now? Eleventh now, I think. So, uh, well, you know, yeah, I think they so. Can, they can try really to experiment. Cool. I mean, they they deserve it. Yeah. Oh yeah, they've been around. They've uh, paid their dues. Yeah. So uh, I, there was something weird, like a uh, Eddie Vedder uh, unveiled the new album, some kind of listening session. Uh, he yep. was pouring shots of tequila, uh, <laughs> letting these fans listen to it. I guess he was loosening them up. So that's probably good um, idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it worked out, man. They've always had good success with their stuff. So, well, regardless, I'm very excited for New Pearl Jam. Yeah. Uh, uh, was it March 27th? March 27th, man. Yeah, that's when that's uh, going to drop. So we're yeah, looking forward to the that. Sloppy second show. And, they, and they have announced uh, some tour dates eventually. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get into it. So. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. They got some tour dates coming up. We'll talk about that yeah, after yeah. a bit. All right. Uh, moving on, kind of staying on uh, uh, the same uh, new music. Um, Eminem's new album that he already dropped, uh, surprise dropped. Um, man, it's making a lot of noise on the uh, Billboard charts. Mm-hmm. And it's number um, one on the charts this week. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, um, the, I think the official charts come out tomorrow, and if, if it is, I mean, they're projecting already saying it's going to be number one, but it'll be his 11th album in a row to debut at number one. I think wow. that's a pretty yeah. amazing feat. No, that's, that's impressive. Good job, Mark. Uh, but, um, you know, I, I don't think any of us are huge rap fans, but we definitely appreciate talent when we hear it and you see it. Uh, okay, maybe Tina. I, I listened um, to the album and I thought it was incredible. I thought he did a great job of it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, uh, what that Darkness was the song that we had listened to before. There's another one, uh, Godzilla. And I guess it's, it could possibly, uh, he's, he's already got the world record for uh, the fastest rap song, um, Rap God. Mm-hmm. And... This one could surpass that. Like, there's yeah. one verse, man. He is like, he's spitting rhymes so fast. Yeah. It's just like, that's, wow. That's the only song I've listened to off of it, and I was just like, what the hell? Uh, listen yeah. to that uh, Darkness song. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got the whole album. You gotta yeah. give him props. I mean, he was the first person in rap history to win a Grammy. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, that's dude. that's something in that's itself. So. Oh yeah, man. He's he's done amazing things for rap music, and uh, you know, he stayed fresh. And I mean, for you know, for an older guy, he's still keeping up, yeah. man. Yeah, he is. <clears throat> really good. Yeah, he is. All right. Well, I believe, does that also have uh, the newest Nick Cannon diss track on it? <laughs> just curious. Oh, and that, oh yeah, they were they were trashing on each yeah. other. And I think that was just Nick Cannon trying to be relevant. Yeah, well, it didn't exactly. work out well for him because uh, the, the Machine Gun Kelly thing was going down. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, that didn't go too well for Nick Cannon. He, uh, a, a little yeah. note on the Pearl Jam. I had some thoughts on it, if you don't mind. Oh, I'm sorry. I no, forgot, man. You had sure. told me that, Kyle. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and speak up on it, man. Kyle yeah. on the uh, new Pearl Jam. I think they've always been very experimental. Um, I compare this track to like tracks like um, uh, Evolution and More Like Suicide. Okay. Yeah, of, man, you're probably right. And that dancey kind of thing. Yeah. I love it because yeah. I love when they're experimental. And I it's do a too. little more aggressive like those two songs, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie's vocal style is a little more angry. Yeah. So it's probably political if we actually Which dove into the lyrics. He's bad about that. I, I can be called a Pearl Jam apologist. So yeah. I'm probably not the right person to be talking about. <laughs> so you're kind of like you're you're a bigger fan, so you're going to be yeah. favor well, 
favoritism. Well, I'm a huge fan, and oh, yeah. the track it just threw me off, man. First listen, like I said, I, I it reminds do. me of Radio Gaga by Queen. Kind yeah, of. I think it was on purpose, though. Like I think they want to throw well, people off. I know. Reading an article about it when you're talking about you know standing for something, that album title and everything was to be about um, uh, global warming and okay. stuff like that. So. I'm sure maybe if we did dig into the lyrics, there's right. probably and something to do Also, about. think about this. They've had a keyboard player for 10 years now. Oh, yeah. This is really the first song I've ever really heard him no. on. Okay. It's, it's been way longer than that. So he's prominent. Now. What? It's been way longer than that. They've had Boone Gasper since 2003. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I, I only remember him on... Um, like the 2009 album. Started. He's been on oh, there since okay. Riot Act. Man. Okay. 2003. Um, Sorry about that. Yeah. I fell out of the loop with Pearl Jam. <laughs> yeah. um, so I'm, I'm kind of, I need to catch back up, you know, go back and listen to, what was it, Lightning Bolt that came out in 2013. Yeah. But That's this right. is their first one in seven years, man. Yeah. So yes. I'm excited. Uh, All right. Yeah, heck yeah. yeah. Enough Pearl Jam. Um, yeah, no, that's fine, Kyle. We'd like to hear your opinions, buddy. Um, you know, I didn't want to start with this. This is definitely the biggest news of the week. But it's kind of sad, but it's it's got its uh, uh, happiness spread on it, too. And I'm going to pass the floor over to Scott because I knew he was such a big fan. Um, it was some major uh, – uh, and every week, you know, Mike says that we always have an Aussie story. And I was sweating uh, trying to find an Aussie story, and by Tuesday I had one. But this one trumped it for sure. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and let Scott talk about it a little bit. Um, well, as a lot of you probably know, because uh, it's – obviously national worldwide news uh ozzy's been diagnosed with a, a form of parkinson disease mm -hmm. and uh he did a very uh emotional interview about it and came out and told everybody and uh it is not going to kill him um right he is on proper medication for it to keep it under control but he does indeed have parkinson's and they think that had a lot to do with his shaking yeah, mm -hmm. and stu his stuttering and stuff. Yeah. But Which makes sense. Yeah, he just found this out. Like a lot yeah. of people are trying to say, "Oh, that's what's been wrong with him all these years." But it could have been. Um, yeah, but he just found. It. And and what I read or or what I seen in the interview, Kelly and uh, Jack noticed him mm -hmm. acting weird. And like a lot of people, man, we try to ignore. Like as we get older, we have things wrong with our bodies or whatever. Sure. Um, you know, we try to ignore those signs. And the kids noticed him. They're not kids anymore, but acting different and was like dad something's wrong yeah you know and um but i guess from what sharon was saying it's really brought them all closer together as a family and yeah that's they're probably the most yeah. famous family and that does happen i know more than most <laughs> yeah <laughs> mike definitely you know as, as you talk about you family know definitely friends. deal with uh family and friends <clears throat> yeah your medical issues and stuff and um yeah friends are important man and 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 from what i've understood uh ozzy is uh like his biggest thing right now is it's tearing him up not to be able to make music and play the shows that uh, they were going to play. But he's, so, he's so 71. Old, and, I mean, so right, 71, but that's what so it's I mean, just what he wants to do. You know, like, his, he's thriving to try to get back out to the fans, you know, because that's just you know, what he's always just, done. You know, so, he's getting I, up there. I, I've seen in a lot of forums that I, I, I dive into that a lot of people are saying, retire, hang it up, you're done. You know, that's not what he wants yeah, to do. He exactly. wants to die on stage, yeah. and I firmly believe the man will. Yeah, yeah. Mean, so. But, you know, it's a little harder for rock and roll metal people to continue that path. And, you know, it's different, like, for Willie Nelson and Bob Dylan right. to play their kind of music and, you know, be able to do that. But when mm -hmm. he's up there screaming, yelling, jumping, oh, dumping yeah. the water on buckets <laughs> on his head and things uh, like that, that's kind of hard when that, somebody's... Though you know that old and has parkinson so yeah. right i mean it's uh, it's a different ball game so yeah i guess he passed out after a show and that's kind of where it all started um yeah they, they knew that's when they knew something was wrong but yeah um he said it's killing him to see sharon and um the the kids going out and living their lives and he's kind of stuck at home bedridden yeah. he can't stand it so uh yeah. Like he's striving, but fortunately, you know, being in the shoes he's in, he's got the money to pay for the greatest doctors. They're actually yeah. leaving. Um, they're searching worldwide for the best doctors. That's how serious he is about getting healthy. Yeah. Um, you know, they're they're finding the greatest doctors they can find to get him the best yeah. help they can get, and he's got yeah. the means for that. Yeah, bless and him. He yeah. should yeah. just go talk to Michael J. Fox. Right. right. <laughs> yeah, he's been through it. Doctor in so. Texas. Uh, 
In other words, I mean, the, no, the full-length interview uh, with Ozzy and the family is on our page. Go check it out. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. But, uh, yeah, obviously, you know, God bless Ozzy forever. And Oh, yeah, you know, man. As a fan and everybody else mm-hmm. in the room, you know, our, our thoughts are with you and your family, Ozzy. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, but on a bright note about Ozzy, he did release... Everybody knows the infamous biting the bat head off incident. Thirty eighth anniversary yes. of the head biting the bat. Yeah. The, yeah. the thirtieth anniversary incident. of it. He is releasing a plush toy of a decapitated bat with head. Heck yeah, with man. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. Stop on, on, a, on a plus note. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. fun. Look into that. Here's pictures on the website of that too. That was yeah, that was it's really funny. funny. Like I said, I was nervous about finding a Nazi story, and that was the okay. first one that came up, and I was like. But you now, know, that was like a breath, breath of fresh air. Yeah. But now he's going to make a plushy uh, Alamo for the next day. I said yeah, that. Yeah, that's I a myth. Yeah, from pissing on the Alamo. It's got a heat stain on it. Yeah. Uh, I shoot. think he got yeah. banned out of Texas for like 10 years. Yeah, yeah. 10 years. Yeah. And then he went money. back and rocked the place. That's yeah. how the story goes. Well, on, on um, Ozzy and Jack's detour, they actually went back and had the little trial for it, and they found him not guilty. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. He was in yeah. a dress when he pissed on the Yes, he was. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. I think that the Osborne family is probably the most famous family of our time. Like, they've been in the limelight for, sure. for such a long time. And Ozzy said, you know, he was like, I can't keep a secret. Mm, um, you know, Sharon's on that, you know, you, talk you, show. You know, uh, it's a national show. And... But yeah, like Scott said, it was a Good Morning America interview. It's a phenomenal <laughs> interview. I, I had a hard time finding the whole thing all together. It was kind of chopped into pieces, but... Yeah. Um, it, man, it's very emotional, but it's, uh, it's good news, man. Uh, like Sharon kind of closed the whole thing with saying, um, you know, he's going to get back out there. Yeah. Like it's not life ending by any means. All right. They're all confident that man, he's going to be okay. All right. So, um, like I said, man, it was sad news, but at the same time, there's, you know, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. So, all right. What's next on your list? Um, man, I, you know, I can't go without, uh, some Slayer news, man. And this is freaking badass. Unfortunately, it's very limited, but uh, like only six copies, and you gotta six. Yeah, six. Yeah, they're making a whole big deal on the six, six, six thing, but yeah. um, uh, you gotta jump through all these hoops to enter this contest. But and man, Instagram they're only. they're they're calling it yeah Instagram only, but they're calling this thing a hell P instead of LP. They're Slayerizing it. Hell P. It's freaking made out of steel and iron. And <laughs> to be able to get into this thing, it's got like a sleeve around it, and it has a match that comes in a coffin. You pull the match out, strike the match, and you set the sleeve on fire. And the sleeve burns off of it, and you blow the ashes off. That's how, like, the, the video of it, it shows this Viking-looking guy. He burns it, blows the ashes off. And then you put it on a record player, and it's a single of uh, their song, Repentless. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I put the uh, I put the link in the video on on Imagine That. Uh, so if you guys do want to enter, and you feel lucky, like one in six, um, <laughs> and you want to go, you've got to like you've got to <laughs> like the post, you've got to share the post, become a member of something. And it's like as big of a Slayer fan as I am, like. I didn't even bother. Yeah, I was I mean, like, that's a um, chance in hell. Uh, yeah, and that maybe that's yeah. on purpose a chance in hell, you know. Yeah. I, hey. Scott and I both love <laughs> Slayer, but man, it's, it's, I don't know why. Like, yeah. for some yeah. reason, they're doing all this limited stuff. Their Jägermeister that they came out with was limited and only available in uh, the UK. And yeah. man, the color, mass produces stuff. The yeah. color variant of the last record. There's only like 500. I guess it's a supply and demand thing, but they're not even supplying mm-hmm. us with this stuff. All right. So uh, uh, here's some other good news I think you guys will be excited uh, about. Um, Kiss is uh, coming out with a documentary this yeah, fall. Yeah, I saw that. That's great. Um, uh, and they're actually turning to fans to submit uh, any like live footage that oh. they may, uh, might have from like uh, the early, like the 70s. Um, and then any kind of like news articles that people might have, any kind of rarities. That's a great idea. Um, so it's career spanning. Yeah, it's going to be career spanning, uh, from, from what, uh, all the way up to, uh, the last date that all the original members played. So I think like 2012, um, all the original members would, would have been 2000, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
Okay, 2000. Okay. Ace, Ace left right after that. And that was their farewell tour. And it's 2020 and they're still going. Well, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, they've got uh, actually uh, some more dates on their farewell tour. And uh, your guys' favorite crazy man, uh, David Lee Roth, is going to be playing with them. I thought that was kind of right, funny. Yeah, funny. Um, but I guess that's supposed to be coming out like uh, uh, maybe in the fall. But uh, I couldn't find any information about like what media outlet's going to release it. I don't know if it'll. Oh, my yeah. pill for uh, that. But yeah, they'll be. Uh, you know, it's Kiss, man. They we market, find out. We'll let you know. Uh, they sure. market the heck out of everything. Yeah. So um, well, yeah, we'll definitely be. Uh, much better. Yeah. yeah. Folks on that band are much better. <clears throat> um, let's see. Uh, yeah. Now I, I hate to bring this up because it breaks Elvis's heart, but uh, Romstein. Um, Man, they kind of dropped the ball. Like uh, early in the week, they started uh, announcing these shows, teasing, uh, teasing people with these shows. And then, uh, yeah, then they put out like a, a GIF little video snippet. Uh, it was called like a blink or you'll miss it. Yeah, uh, GIF that actually showed uh, pictures of stadiums, kind of giving people the idea that this was going to be a stadium tour. Uh, then they announced the dates, then the tickets went on sale, man, like, uh, it was actually just earlier today, but there was a pre-sale prior to today, and, uh, you know, the bigger fans, like, uh, Elvis definitely want to try to be down front for this. What'd you say they call that, uh, the... The foyer zone? The foyer zone. Yeah. Um, so, you know, like, the... song, Foyer Fry. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Um, but, uh, like, the, the stadiums, um, if you guys don't know, man, Rammstein may put on like the biggest show oh, out of any live band yeah. around not just today but ever like they utilize the yeah. entire freaking stadium yeah. major man. power techniques uh, stuff, huge yeah. man and like you know costumes doing things that you may or may not even want to see him doing uh, go with yeah. an open mind you know <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but um yeah like I said tickets are going fast uh, like the the floor separated in two sections and I think the front one was already sold out um, so act fast on it if you want to get tickets at a decent price. But uh, one one of my friends said that he he posted on his personal page, did I miss something? How the fuck is Romstein playing Gillette Theater or Gillette Stadium? Yeah, and I'm like. I commented, he goes, Black Sabbath didn't he play Gillette Stadium? Well, dude, as much as I love Black Sabbath, they don't compare and show to Rammstein, right. not yeah. even compare. He's, I, he's I like, they it. won't sell 10,000 yeah, tickets. Oh, yeah. It's a different generation. A different, I doubt you know, it. Man, oh, yeah. Compare that. So man, I it's highly anticipated. How many tickets could sell, you know. Right. right. So I took a screenshot of the last time they were at Gillette, which was like three years ago. So I they think. played there already? Yeah, and it was completely sold out like, you know, the fucking yeah. Patriots were playing without cheating. <laughs> but anyway, so is that a bigger stadium than most other stadiums? It's a football is that what stadium. you're getting it's at? That's like 70,000. Um, yeah, I know they're well. playing Chicago, um, Soldier Field, Soldier Field yeah. like um, all the big stadiums. And yeah, like I said, man, it's highly anticipated. They haven't been to the US in how long, Elvis? Few years. Um, yeah. Well, as far as a full tour. Yeah. Um, definitely. Yeah, they've done some festivals here and there, like they did Chicago the Chicago uh, Open Air. The, yeah, Chicago Open Air Festival okay. a few years ago. Mm -hmm. I missed that one. Me too. But Man. I can't remember the last time before, like the last few years. The, yeah. the last like, time I, was the 2012 album. I can't think of the name of. Least okay. bit do maybe. Oh, Libes Theralada. That's it. And yeah. they played like New York, Chicago, Washington D.C., and Orlando. And that's yeah. it. So. And they played. They played X Fest in two thousand one. Oh the, yeah, yeah. Was that. that was the one. Yeah, I heard I some people. I had to leave early. That's the one I was at. Oh dang. But they didn't have their full show. They, they couldn't. Better. Yeah, because it was they a festival. They literally, they could have come out and done two songs. I'd have still been all up in that shit. Oh, but yeah. So. <laughs> I've been in those situations. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, like... See them, uh, like, full, full um, pyro and shit? Yeah, a lot of people, if they have seen them, they haven't seen the full show. So, again, man, it's highly anticipated. Tickets are flying off the shelf. So, if you haven't yet and you want to, man, get on them as quick as possible. Soldier Field Street was sold out at one point. And the released, entire they, stadium. They released huh? more tickets. Yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah, so they're releasing little bits of tickets at a time. But okay. Yeah, like it showed that it was sold out at one point. Yeah, this band's worldwide famous, man. So it's a huge, huge deal. Uh, yeah. We'll keep next? our eye on it. Uh, 
So a little bit more uh, kind of sad news, man. I, but I thought this was kind of worthy. Uh, Huey Lewis uh, came out. Yeah, pardon me. I don't know if I even know how to pronounce this. Uh, Meniere's disease. Um, but man, I guess he like he can't even uh, he can't hear. Yeah, it's a thing with your inner ear where you lose balance. Mm-hmm. And, and, and vertigo. Yeah, it's like a vertigo yeah. kind of type thing is what yeah. it is. Yeah, so he's really struggling with that. I guess they do have an album uh, getting ready to come out. Yeah, um, on Valentine's Day. Yeah, Val- and uh, he's not even sure if he's going to be able to tour. Uh, he's there's um, He is getting treated for it. Uh, I guess he has good days and bad days. He tried performing a couple times and ended up just getting frustrated, yeah, which that... That ended up turning into depression, and uh, and it's it's just kind of been uh, it's been a rough road for him. So yeah. um, great artist, yeah. Just, yeah I mean, just kind I of grew up on him, you know, as a kid. You know, he was back. He was really shit. popular, you know, back then. Oh, so many hits, man! Just well rounded. The whole band. Oh, the new drugs, oh yeah. This is it. Mm. Oh, All the know. album four play alone. It was huge yeah. back when we were younger. Yeah, even, know. you know, uh, what was it, uh, American Psycho, man. Like, yeah. Well, you know, that's, that's a big part say. of that film. Mm, yeah. my, my favorite, one of my favorite, I love Family Guy, and there's a real funny joke I got to say real quick. Like, Meg has a crush on the news anchor guy, and the electricity goes out, and everybody's talking about what they miss, and Meg says, I miss the news, and Peter cracks off and says, Meg, we all miss the news, but Huey Lewis needed time to create. <laughs> I just oh, wow. thought that was kind of funny, you know, because cause for a short time, Huey Lewis went off on his own, you know, without yeah. the news. So, um, But, yeah, man, that's unfortunate about him. You know, maybe yeah. something something will turn around. We'll hope so. Yeah. We'll keep our eye on that because, you know, we all love Huey. Huey. Uh, yeah. I can Huey. say that, right? Huey Lewis. Huey. 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 Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> Oh, uh, see. Um, <laughs> oh, man, here's a good one. You know, another one uh, we have to touch on every week, and this one, man, we might be in trouble because uh, you got it. Dave Mustaine. <laughs> he's back and better than ever, man. And he's not even really talking about it, which is what's kind of freaking me out. He's being sneaky. His daughter came out and spoke on his health. Yeah. So... Uh, him and Megadeth played their first show mm-hmm. uh, since his illness. Mm-hmm. And man, uh, you know, all jokes aside, this guy is like a lot like Ozzy. Like he is determined to freaking perform, man. Yeah. And, um, you know, just like Ozzy, like it's all he knows and it's all, you know, he feels like his fans are his family. Um, and music gets that way, man. You get connected with people through music. And I just, I love reading these stories, man, where these guys just get so ill and again, like I said with Ozzy, fortunately they've got the means to get the best, uh, you know, doctors and, and medications available. Um, but you know, without them, we wouldn't have the music. So yeah. we got to be grateful for that. I was um, laughing that earlier on the week, and you know, they put a post on our our website threatening to kick your ass. Why is it to me now? Assault that. Oh man! It a, well, oh, it man. all started because Mike was telling the cancer <laughs> story, and I laughed. <laughs> And a joke got told on the side, and we all started laughing. But oh, Dave man. knew on the inside, man. We could poke, like I said, he's taking this serious, man. Dave is serious freaking business. He's out. He's after us. Man. And, uh, well, Mike's done tried to beat his ass once, so he needs to learn his lesson. Like I said, there, there is something about a person that comes back from something like that, whether it be addiction or like a serious illness. Um you know, he's came back and, and I mean, I'd go see Megadeth. Like, I've always liked him anyway. I've never been a huge fan. You'll probably get your chance at Mayhem. But, uh, yeah, dude, I'm excited about that anyway. Because, like I said in a couple podcasts ago, we lost all the Lollapaloozas, Ozfests, Mayhem. So, if Megadeth headlines or co-headlines Mayhem, I'm, I'm definitely going to be there. And I can't wait to see uh, the energy that Dave is going to be packing. And hopefully... All of us guys from Imagine That will be able to keep our distance. Because, man, I don't know. What's you know, if all, we may have to use Kyle as a shield. Maybe. I'm a huge Megadeth fan. So. Chris Carter right. will like that. What's interesting about that, though, who was supposed to open for Ozzy on this last Megadeth. one? Megadeth. With Megadeth. Megadeth. Exactly. Yep. Okay. So, yep. so that very well could have been Megadeth and Ozzy. Together. See, that would have been beautiful, man. You got two guys that yep. are just beating the odds. I would have yeah. uh, that in heartbeat, too. Could have had a medical team standing by just in case. Yeah. You know, we talk about, uh, you know, 
I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kyle. I will never forgive myself for us not being able to go see you. Rust in peace. Oh, from yeah. start to finish. Because we didn't fucking know about the show in time, remember? Yeah. Or okay. I didn't. And um, I told you like a day before, fuck you, Scott. I, I lucked out and saw Megadeth, like, kind of on accident. I had a friend in the military, and I promised him when he came to visit home, I would take him to a concert. And again, like I said, especially back then, um, I, I wasn't really a Megadeth fan at all, but I'd already gotten into Slayer a little bit, so I enjoyed Thrash. And Static X was like the only band that we kind of remotely even liked. Um, and they were opening for Megadeth. And uh, the only thing, like at the time, I don't know if Dave was still battling his addictions or what, but he just wasn't real oh, yeah. active on stage. Like his head was kind of hung down the whole time. It reminded me of like Jeff Hanneman. You know, yeah. He used to be with Slayer, kind of closed. and yeah. I mean, still sounded great. The songs were awesome. You know, Peace Sells, man, that's one of my favorite metal songs. And uh uh, everybody loves Countdown to Extinction, man. You, the you whole know, record. Yeah. Uh, Elvis been working out. Throw that on your playlist, man. That'll help you get that final mm -hmm. squad in. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, I've seen Megadeth countless times throughout the years. They yeah, yeah, never disappointed me ever. All right, I, I have to have a little fun with Kyle here. Um, let's break up the monotony here. You need to move. Bit. Well, as we said last week, uh, Kyle has not come out with his own. Pussy Campbell. <laughs> oh, yes. And we are going to be selling these for $19.95. Oh, it went down. Um, they are selling out faster than Glyneth Paltrow's new candle. Right. So sure. I wanted to take a little break and give you guys the opportunity to buy those. It's unfortunate <laughs> we don't have our camera guy here. If you guys could see Kyle's face right now, <laughs> utterly speechless. It smells like sauerkraut. Because none of us it knew that was like, coming. It smells like possum and desperation. <laughs> and that's, three, that's two different smells now because I was going to go with rainbow trout and Vaseline. <laughs> so. But uh, seriously, I wonder what Gwyneth Paltrow thinks her pussy smells like. Did I actually uh, do that? Gwyneth, we're sorry. This guy I know. Now she's going to be after our I don't want, I don't want Gwyneth kicking my ass. Yeah, we've got enough enemies. we got James Taylor. we got Celine Dion. What the fuck is old ass? <laughs> I'm <laughs> always the one that acts timid. <laughs> And now, now I've kind of, I've accepted things for how they are, and now this guy. <laughs> I, I want one of those goddamn candles to see what they smell like. <laughs> he wants are you really that interested yeah. in knowing what her pussy smells like, seriously? Well, you, you know he is. You know, you know, you know he is. is. Yeah, you you're like that, you're that bed, fucking you desperate that you want to smell that. Because you know you don't get laid in any of this, <laughs> so that candle's about as close as you're gonna get. I think he wants. A, I think he wants a Bradley Cooper dick candle. Uh, yeah, dude. Oh, that's hilarious. Like I said, none of us oh, knew that was coming. Mike had that up his sleeve. Oh man, yeah, Kyle speaks. I, I hate you. <laughs> I love him, man, because here I am struggling through my crappy news stories, and uh, Kyle like saves the crappy. day. We gotta have something funny. Uh, you no, know, yeah, we gotta have comedy, yeah. man. You know, I'll, I mean, you know, for our uh, virgin job. ears out there we listening, or, you know, uh -huh, yeah. you just got to, all right, this kind of got, got a little reaction on the page. Um, Billy Corgan says he's working on 21 new Smashing Pumpkins songs, man. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, cool. Uh, they had some success with their uh, 2018 album, which was like the first one in, God, I think uh, over 18 years, Long man, it had been. Time. So, um, you know, I, I kind of favor. Once. Uh, oh, yeah, you wasn't a fan? Machine, and is that I'm what it's called? usually a Machine. huge fan. Machine. But okay. these last few records just been too experimental for me. Yeah. Okay. I want it to be like when I grew up. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I was a huge fan. Say. And uh, actually, you know, I, I got a little story. It's kind of funny. I got to meet him. Uh, it was of all things the convention center uh -huh. had Pearl Jam opened up, oh, yeah. Smashing Pumpkins, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers all played at the convention center. Yep, which is weird. That. So did the Peppers headline? Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, they okay. headline. Okay. okay. And um, uh, when I met Billy Corgan, he was a dick. Really? I mean, uh, and uh, I remember one of the things he uh, said to me when he was uh, I met him. He goes. So what do you guys here in Indiana do? Do you like to go cow tipping or something? Oh, wow. And I was just like, man, you're in Chicago. It's not like you're 
that far away from us or anything. Right, right. But uh, uh, yeah, he, was, he was a jerk, man. Yeah. Did, he, did he go, hey, man, what are you going to do for the <laughs> Right, for, for as ugly and as weird as that guy sounds, man. Well, I, you think, fun. you know, he ought to be the nicest guy. Now, what year was that around? Just approximately. Uh, I'm just curious. It was probably 91, too. Two. So uh, it was very uh, early on. So I was so. in Ball State, then. I a know. Pearl Jam opened, if that tells I you. I got you. Me, so. And they were probably just now getting famous. Yeah, so he they, probably had yeah. that cock of the but wall. They were like, starting the last out. time a garbage was in Indy at the Egyptian room, the, um, um, Shirley was talking in between songs. About how big of a dick Billy Corgan was. Okay. Well, the first time I saw Garbage, they opened for the Pumpkins. Yeah. Okay. So. Only time I saw them, uh, 94, Lollapalooza. Uh, Nirvana was supposed to headline. We all know that story. And uh, Beastie Boys <laughs> and Pumpkins co-headlined. And it was kind of bad scheduling because Beastie Boys got everybody hyped up. That was great. Full of energy. I was there. That was awesome. And the Pumpkins kind of brought everybody down. It was a phenomenal performance. Yeah. But it's just when you get all amped up, you kind of want to stay amped, yeah. and it almost puts you to sleep. That's exactly true. I think Lava um, Palooza had a thing for that, because the I year went, I went, I saw mm-hmm. Cypressell, the hole, yep. and the show was closed by Sonic Youth, and everybody just was like, I, yeah. I've always wondered, how how did they get Kurt out of that upholstery? Lord have mercy. Here we are with Kurt Cobain <laughs> jokes. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Unfortunately, he's here all night. Man. <laughs> yeah. um, I uh, last, that. I just want to... Uh, uh, Billy Corgan kind of went out and, uh, <laughs> you know, he's got his own wrestling federation. I know we don't want to get off on the talk of wrestling. Wait, 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 wait. It's not okay, yet. Elvis can he reiterate on that. He the NWA. Okay. He doesn't necessarily own it. Okay, I got you. He is an owner, but, okay. yeah, it's not his own. Uh, okay, I got you. That's interesting. Now, of course, watch and finish Imagine That first, <laughs> but after you get done watching Imagine That... <laughs> Another one of my, like my second favorite podcast, Joe Rogan, there's a really awesome uh, interview with him and Billy Corgan, and, you know, all dickness aside, um, man, he's a really interesting guy, and they joke about how, like, people just assume, like, his character on stage, how he's all, like, melancholy and stuff, people just assume he's that way, and there's a real funny picture of him at a theme park. He's just got a somber look on his face, you know. He's really, actually, really serious. I mean, he was serious... But he was just being kind of a jerk, you know. But he was yeah. very businesslike. I, got you. I mean, uh, he, you know, he found out I worked for a music store, and he started grilling me about, you know, uh-huh. all kinds of stuff, how it was selling, this, that, and the other. And you can kind of tell a certain artist, you know, when they start asking questions like that, how serious they are and what they what they're trying to do. So. You kind of fill them out. See, that's yeah. kind of that almost makes me like him less, you know. Like he wanted to be a dick, and then all of a sudden he found out, oh. Yeah. This guy's got something to offer me. Maybe yeah. I better be nice to him. Yeah, like, exactly. Why not be nice from I, the get go, man? I stand corrected. He actually bought the entire National Wrestling Alliance. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he is like the owner. Wow. Um, okay. I think yeah, I mean, like I said, you, you start, like Joe Rogan is one of the greatest interviewers. Like some people get bored, but I think he brings out the best in people, man. Um, uh, he just has a great style about him. You just feel like it's two buddies sitting mm-hmm. there talking, and you get the inside. So, um, He's a great business guy, really intelligent. Uh, okay, moving on. Um, maybe not a lot. I know we got a few Mike Patton fans out there. This is kind of big news in his world. Um, Mr. Bungle, Bungle is getting back together. It's funny, the article that uh, uh, we posted. Uh, oh, yeah, Faith No More. Yeah, dude, Mike Patton, like, he's, man, he's got so many projects. Like, you can't even keep up with him. Really? I was thinking about him this week. Yeah. Uh, Tom the, uh, I, I forget, man. I can't give credit where it's due, but the article said that Mr. Bungle broke up, and I think it was like 2004. Mr. Bungle actually replied to it and said, We didn't break up. We just quit playing. You know, it's just been that long. So that's kind of how Mike is, man. He'll, you know, he'll get a band together and then they'll, he'll get another band together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then later on, I, I know another artist that I won't mention his name kind of does the same thing. Um, <laughs> gonna and I that. love that, man. I, I'm not you saying it. I'm it. not saying it. Um, will this be the show? Who's got money on tonight's show? Uh, Put your hand down. But no, man, that's cool. Uh, 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 and check this out, Scott. Uh, Scott Ian. 
Say it. And uh, Dave Lombardo is going to be part Ooh. of uh, the Mr. Bungle That's uh, what I was going to mention. Oh, wow. Reboot. Doesn't uh, he have two projects with Lombardo right now? Uh, yeah, Phantomus. Phantomus. Yeah. And, uh, and because... Dead Cross. Go ahead, Dead Cross. Yeah, and Dead Cross, you're right. Yep. So three. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah Dave, they kind of fall... Dave's a whore, so... Um, Shit, now he's going to kick my yeah, ass. Yeah, Dave, after he got into on. it with Slayer, man, he's pretty <laughs> open. And he, he gets out there with a lot of different... But I wanted to like Phantomus yeah, just because Dave of Dave Lombardo. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Dead Cross. Do you? Yeah. I've not listened to him. I need to. Uh, man, I'm not. I just... I have both of their records. Um, I appreciate Mike Patton for everything he does. <laughs> I like several Faith No More songs. But like Phantomus, there's no true lyrics, man. It's just noises. Uh, it's mm -hmm. creative. I give him credit, you know, it's, it is that, but I just, <coughs> you know, it's like novelty music to me. Um, so I'll try, uh, but yeah, man, they're playing, they're going to do some uh, live shows, and I guess they had some songs that they wrote for uh, uh, one of their early albums, uh, Mystery, no, never mind, I, I my bad, I, I kind of took some weird notes, but anyway, there's some uh, songs that uh, they had wrote and never practiced. Uh, so fans have never heard these songs. They're going to debut them um, when they they've, they've got like six shows planned and uh, possibly some more coming up. Uh, and then there's a mystery cover song they're making a big deal about. Uh, they put a picture up and saying like, "Guess it." That article is on Imagine That uh, Facebook page, it, so check it out. I bet it's. Bad it would be excellent if they covered Mystery Science Theater three thousand. Mystery Science Theater three thousand. Get it out there, buddy. Uh, come on, get the dick yeah. out of your mouth. Uh, <laughs> MS3K uh, theme, theme, theme song. song. All right. Kyle's got his phone out looking for Gwyneth Paltrow's. All right. What's uh, next I'm sorry, man, this I is really that cool. Uh, I actually looked this up before I left, man. D. Snyder is working on a live DVD and a CD for his uh, cool. latest project, uh, which was called For the Love of Metal. Metal. Uh, came out in 2018. It's the great, album did. Great fucking record. Mm. Uh, I heard two songs off of it, and it was definitely not what I expected. Yeah. Um, it's, it's good. Uh, I like with Jamie Jostin on that. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah Jamie Jostin, uh, I think, produced it. Um, uh, Twisted Sister, you know, I guess I'm younger than a lot of you guys. Uh, time, they were a little before my time. I give them credit where it's hey. due. Oh, go ahead. Um, but, uh, Never been like like I laugh about their music. I get into some of their songs, but man, I guess his kids, uh, I mean for obvious reasons, got into metal. Mm -hmm. And his daughter was so young, she wanted to go to these uh, like hardcore concerts. And he started taking her, and he like grew a love for this type of music because he was so used to hanging out with bands that were already famous and you know forgot where they came from. And he started seeing these bands that. Still had like uh, like cutthroat attitudes is how he explained it, and it inspired him to uh, write this uh, for the love of uh, metal. And now he's gonna put out a DVD that kind of documents all, all that right. stuff. So man, that's gonna be really cool. Hey, this is uh, interesting here. Um, I'm, I'm trying to follow Facebook since Bill usually does this, and I'm the one that talks. Yeah, I apologize. But um, <laughs> Tim Matney posted on here that Green Jelly is gonna be in Fort Wayne on February 28th. That's a date I did not know about. Man, I am personal friends with a lot of those guys. Bill Mann, speaker, the singer. Uh, yeah. Him and I talk on Facebook from time to time. I've met the guy like five times. Um, uh, Kyle and I and maybe uh, these two guys also. Uh, we're going to go see him in Cincinnati uh, February 21st, a uh, venue I've already been to. Um, now, yeah. Green Jello's not a huge band by any stretch of the imagination. Like Bill's like a D-list yeah. celebrity. But man, I'm telling you, their shows unlike any other, and honestly, right. more importantly than the show, like they love meeting fans. They'll sign yeah. anything you got. All so right. Fort Wayne, that may be closer yeah, I than know. Uh, Cincinnati. Too. So do that. Tim, thank you so much, right. man. I'll, I'll cool. look into that some more. Um, yeah, moving along here. Uh, let's see. Earlier in the week, this is really freaking cool, man. Scott posted this. Uh, this little five-year-old kid, yeah. um, I guess all we know him as is uh, Caleb H., but he's five years old. This uh, drumming video came out of him playing Slipknots before I forget. Yeah. He was air drumming it. Uh, that got so much attention, his dad was like, oh, well, hey, check this out. He can really play it. And then it got freaking Jay Weinberg, Slipknots drummer's attention. Yeah. It went viral, man. This yeah, video yeah. blew up. 
Well, Slipknot didn't stop there, man. They went a step further. Yep. Freaking invited this kid and his dad yep. to their concert, and they got to hang out. Yeah. And I, the thing that made me laugh the most was, like, the kid, I mean, he's five years old, so, yeah. I mean, he's happy. I mean, you could take this kid to McDonald's and he'd be happy, but the dad is like, dude, he's in heaven, man, because it's like... Yeah, go, wa go watch that little video of this little dude, man. Five years old, and... and you see him with his dad at the Slipknot concert. He's air drumming, and, and people mm -hmm. everywhere are watching him. And yeah. then he, his dad posts a video of him actually, you know, playing it, man. And he nails it. And it's and then yeah, like he said, Jay Weinberg was like, "Holy shit, we got to meet this little dude." So, yeah, man, they made it happen, and that's man, that's killer, dude. Making the kids' dreams come true. It shows they're actually good guys underneath all the masks. You know who that dickhead is right there? Uh oh. Uh-oh, we got, we got our first hater. I don't know. He's <clears throat> somebody mouthing off. Um, but uh, let's see. What else do I have? Uh, man, that might be almost it on my news. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, one more story. Man, this is kind of just... Uh, I'm not even crazy about this whole story, but I want to report on it because it's almost kind of... Uh, Kind of hindsight sees twenty twenty or whatever. I don't know if that's the right way to say that, but STP man, I I saw them with their new singer Jeff Gutt. This was a guy that uh, he was like second place in one of those singing competitions. Um, oh, he's singing with uh, Stuntful Pilots now. They've got an album that came out. I wasn't crazy about the guy because he was, he was trying to act like Scott Weiland too much, man, and I'm like. Just be original. Be yourself, man. And then the D'Lo brothers just shunned Scott Weiland. Um, that bothered me. But they had some shows scheduled. Um, and he... Uh, what happened, man? He got like uh, something... Uh, shoot. Oh, he had a herniated disc. A, a severe herniated disc. Yeah. And they ended up having to cancel these shows. So I was kind of yeah. like, ha-ha, that's what you get. You know? mm -hmm. Like Scott Weiland, I get it, man. He was a diva. You know, they didn't get along, but still. Just like trying to, like, slink and stuff like Wyland did. Like, yeah, trying to do that whole dance thing yeah. and just, you know, well, and uh, like, uh, I'll, I'll use Allison Chains as an example. I was going to uh, say the same thing. Uh, you know, William Duvall been with them for a long time. Sure. He he even shares the vocals with uh, Jerry, Jerry Cantrell. And, and he's his own thing. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, don't try to be somebody you're not. It's weird enough that you're singing songs that another guy wrote about his life experiences. You know, I mean, he just sounds uh, a lot like Lane, but I mean, he don't act like him. But and to top it off, man, like they I guess they're planning on getting back out, and this is kind of cool. They're they've got a tour scheduled with uh, Live. I know Mike loves Live and yeah, Bush, Bush. Yeah. so that'll be a big like '90s whatever. Uh, and then Kyle's favorite. I hate to even mention this, but they're playing a freaking show with uh, Nickelback. Yeah, they're gonna be a dirt crew. Fuck you. Uh, that goes hand in hand. Talk about that. I know. Like yeah, I said, I man, I hate agree. it. But Kyle, man, <laughs> Kyle was on my ass about Bill. You gotta, you gotta talk about Nickelback, man. What the fuck <laughs> ever? Fuck uh, you. Yeah. Okay. All week, dude. He Kyle gets on here like all hours of the night. Like, luckily for me, I work. He nights, was making so Valentines away. out to him earlier. Uh, and I'm a little he's, and, man, he's yeah. trying to, he's trying to meet this guy. Chad. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't. Oh, I thought you wanted to. Like uh, buckling or something. Little, guy, little guys getting all worked up. Listen, we'll just do that. Nickelback's come and check it out. Fuck yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> For a band that everybody hates all on right. so much, those You're guys. Giving them were... enough time. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway. No, man, that's that. That's that's my news, man. That's I, it. Um, right. Yeah. Oh, if, also, if it was short. I apologize. Um, a, a story we were talking about earlier. Um, if you guys haven't followed on our page about the the Aerosmith. Um, with Joey Kramer, with Joey Kramer uh, getting kicked out of the band, yeah. they're not even going to let him be in the Grammys on Sunday. Oh yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. I imagine it's because his health. He's getting up there, and maybe they think he he maybe can't beat the drums as hard as he used to. Um, he had to audition for his own job. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's well, that's like pretty, them that's kind of fucked up, that man. Young. It's kind of messed up. And he, so. he he tried to sue him. Yeah, and, and he lost. And he lost, but yeah. you know. I did. It's okay. I mean, uh, Joey uh, Kramer was a part of that band for, geez, 40 years. Yeah, I mean, something. That's I mean at least than nothing else, they should have let him be on the Grammys or something yeah. maybe limited like that. And I guess, you know, I can understand if they didn't want him to go on tour or something because his health or getting old. But, I mean, 
the guy the deserves shine. the shine of the camera in front of at least the Grammys. Yeah. You know, what's next? He's not going to be allowed, like, I don't know, they're in the Hall of Fame or whatever, but, you yeah. know. Right. Like that, I mean, that's that's just really disrespectful. Excluding him, man. That's like yeah. spitting on him. That's, that's how I felt yeah. with STP, not giving any shout-outs to Scott yeah. Weiland, dude. He... You know, he made yeah. that band, and that, just like them. Uh, I got Man, I got one more story, and I'm only doing this because a uh, dear friend of mine, he used to be my boss, uh, Sam Forkham. I don't know if he's even watching, but uh, I know he'll be so excited. He's seen this band more times than anybody. Uh, Fish, man, they announced uh, 27 yeah. dates, uh, summer tour. Yeah. They're playing freaking three three nights, man. I've never heard of that. Three nights oh, yeah. here in Indy at uh, Deer Creek or Ruoff, it's called now. Dave Matthews um, does that. Uh, I think they do too. He does. A uh, lot, lot of bands do two nights. I've never heard this of This is the only time I've ever, yeah, I've ever seen three nights. That's uh, un- unheard of. Yeah, they must really be oh. uh, anticipating a heavy oh, Indiana I, crowd. I, I, it's been a while since uh, they've been around, so I'm sure it will. Yeah, i got to hit my friend oh, Sam yeah. up because I'm hoping uh, <laughs> he lives in Denver now, lucky ass. Yeah. Uh, and I know he goes to Red Rocks and sees him. <laughs> uh, I mean, this guy, he's seen him, like I said, some 30, 40 times. But uh, Sam, I hope you're going to come to Indiana, and I will come and see fish with you if you do, man. I, I'd love to see you again. So we'll be looking forward to those dates coming up. Don't hey, I'm gonna play the I'm gonna play uh, Don't eat the brown acid. The Bill m- moment here. Um, Jennifer McCubbins Park's on here right now. That's really cool. She's been following us a lot. Hi Jennifer. Yeah, yeah. Is that Jesse that is on there? Hey That's Zach, really cool. what's up, dude? So yeah. So, um, shout outs. Heck right. yeah, man. We appreciate all of you watching. So is that all you got uh, there, brother? That's all I got. I told my friend Bethany I'd say hey to her. I saw her at the store earlier. Cool. Uh, she's all been right. watching. Got a lot of friends. Uh, What's up, man? Oh, okay. So, well, we got a lot of concerts going on, and I want to—I I haven't been able to really go through these last few weeks. There was a lot of really cool concerts, mainly at Deer Shit Creek, times, man. Uh, announced this week. So, I'm going to go through yeah. some of the ones I think you're going to want to know. I can't go through all of them until I get to the end with all the new Deer Creeks. I know everybody wants to hear about that. 2020 is huge, so, man. Yeah, we've said it. Before. So here we go. Um, most of these are, we try to put these on the page, so, you know, you can always go on there and um, follow that. Um, but this one, January 31st, uh, Jamie Johnson is going to be at the Anderson Casino, and man, he is a killer guitar player. Um, he's been really making headways in the countryside, so um, that give that a Saturday? shot. Is that next Saturday? Yeah, 31st, yeah. so... That'll be coming up. Um, being he's so close, you should check that out. Yeah. Um, Heck yeah, man. On February 4th, you got Corn and Breaking Benjamin at Fort Wayne. Um, That'd be That's big. always a big thing. Every time I've seen right, them, we got to say this. we got to do it. Oh, yeah. All right. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. 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 <laughs> Monster <laughs> Truck is going to be at Lucas Soil on uh, February 8th. In that's the mud. Be there. Be there. Yeah. We're off. Uh, Get your monster, Kyle. All, <laughs> Kyle not that Kyle. Kyle's with. in general. <laughs> he, he he don't have no monster to play with. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, well, he told mine. me they tickle his vagina too much. He can't stand it. <laughs> he can play with my oh, monster. Man. Wow, speechless uh, again. Yeah. Man, I just had pure to disciple. This is <laughs> well, uh, that's true. This is a show. Yeah. All right, you touch it wrong and it nails you. Oh shit! Shit! Yeah. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> February 9th, Post Malone is going to be um, at Banker's Life. i got to say, a previous oh, Malone. Yeah. i got to say, it without Ozzy. Yeah. <laughs> On the same day, Alta Bridge is going to be at the Marat, so that's what I, I'm a oh. big fan of them. Say, I'd love to go yeah. see them. Again. I need to listen to them, man. Shame yeah. on me. Uh, February 11th, Machine Head is going to be at the Vogue. Um, man, really oh, great yeah. small place to see a great band, I would Three and, and hours, three and a half hours that show is supposed to be. Yeah. Wow, man. And the great one of the greatest metal bands out there, I'm telling you, those guys. And seasoned they, veterans. And they are playing their very first album, Burn My Eyes, in its entirety. Yeah. Oh, that'll be special. So, uh, incredible. Man, we need to try to go to that. Bro. I would love to, yeah. dude. Yeah, any metal head. Uh, February 16th, KISS is going to be in Fort Wayne. That'll probably be the last time you'll ever get to see them. Our uh, favorite crazy maybe. band. I don't know. Gene yeah, they, I always say they've been on their farewell tour yeah, since like 1978. Years, <laughs> I mean, it's just the year I was born, man. Kiss. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
Kiss was on their farewell tour. Uh, February 23rd. Uh, Big show, though. Soulfly is going to be the Citadel. Mm, That's yeah. a nice small place to see yep. somebody incredible uh, like that. Now, who... who so is Max still involved with them or no? Oh yeah, that's his baby. Always will okay. Be. Okay, yeah. I know he done the Cavalier conspiracy, yeah. so I didn't know. Yeah, Soulfly is his baby, and actually, Elvis awesome. was just saying earlier, the guitarist from Soulfly, Mark Rizzo, was in Muncie today at Sight and Sound doing a guitar clinic. Yeah, we would have talked about that, but it was already over and, by the time we done the show. Yeah. And Igor oh. found the band. Igor's in yep. Soulfly. Yeah. Yeah. He's nice, in, man. His brother. Man. man. And Matt put on there that Monster Truck's usually in January. They did have a Monster Truck, but I, I, from my understanding, they have a second one this year. So. Okay. That's what I, what I read if I was told right. Fair enough. Gotcha, man. Um, all oh, right. I think January was a Supercross, maybe. Second chance? Mm, I don't know, because Supercross is in March. Okay. It's on, imagine um, that. It's Facebook on there, page. yeah. Yeah, yeah. February twenty third. Also, uh, this is awesome. Martin Lawrence is going to be at Banker's Life Fieldhouse. Oh hell yeah! Damn, yeah. um, Gina. Get your life on. Oh, get your life on. <laughs> I can help yeah, myself. Dude, Shout I used to love Martin. Bad Boys Three. Yeah, really. Huh. Man, that'd be great though. Man, he's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Hey, this is really cool. Uh, February twenty fifth, Opeth is going to be at the Marat. Yeah, I want to go to that. Yeah, yeah. That great classic prog band. Great to see. Um, Aren't you excited, Kyle? I love that. What's your deal, dude? You're sitting over there. I wish you'd be a for once. No, no, man. No, man. He's not excitable tonight. Quit being Elvis you know, just the old pile of poop over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, look <laughs> at him. <laughs> Folks, he actually so did it. He actually did it. He actually Why did it. Why are you wet? <laughs> <laughs> Because of that candle, man, he's still no, perplexed. Man. Jesus. Like I said, Mike threw us all off with that candle gig, man. We didn't know that was coming. And no, Kyle, man. Your Kyle has been <laughs> off his rocker ever Desperation, since Desperation, isn't it? I told Sour you. Sauerkraut. <laughs> uh, that's what done it. It's an aphrodisiac, isn't oh it? I'm good, God. man. Okay, Chris Curry, you almost got your wish. Elvis <laughs> almost checked his rectal temperature. <laughs> yeah. Chris start Curry. over. Oh Chris, our favorite God. freak, man. Yeah, Miss you, buddy. Wow. Uh -uh. All right, me, let me get back up. Real quick, Chris <laughs> told me the other day when I get, I told him I keep giving him shouts out, and he says, quit using my name without my consent. <laughs> yeah. I said, your information's public, motherfucker. Uh, right, Sorry. if anybody would enjoy it. It's him. We got oh, another yeah. guy, Mark, who said he just seen Bad Boys 3, and he said it was in really, really good. So. Cool, Mark. Thank I you, man. That. I, I want to see that myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those, yeah. That's a great series of movies, yeah, man. Absolutely. Martin's hilarious. All right. Let's get to this. Uh, February 29th, the Beach Boys are going to be at um, Brown County. That's They're still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. cool. I, I think it'd be great to see I, yeah, you know, Legends. I think it'd be a fun show. Legends, man. Yeah. Legendary. That cool. surf music. That'd be a yeah. good time, yeah. man. That'd just be fun. Um, yeah. Talking about comedy, uh, March... Six, Ron White's going to be at the Marat. That's a little bit uh, animal. <laughs> do you have that one, man? That's another comedian, Jim Jeffries. Yeah, I saw that, but I didn't have. I have so many, but what? It's a uh, May. It's May second. I just 7th. thought it fit in with okay. that. So yeah, Jim right. Jeffries, lots of comedians, guys. Yeah, there is because yeah. here's a uh, March nineteenth. Carrot Top's going to be. Yeah. Dude, Brown I want to go. He, a lot yeah. of people think he's too cheesy. Where he is the weirdest-looking dude. I, I will say Brown that. He Brown works County. out like a maniac, yeah, steroided out of his yeah. ass. I, I just wanted to make sure I heard They rebuilt um, that place, and, and they're going crazy by putting all kinds of bands there now. That Carrot Top's like the prettiest, ugly dude I've ever... Like, he's a, an alien, but he's so corny, it's freaking hilarious. Yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah. what's the date on that? I want to go. Yeah, Carrot Top... Uh, March nineteenth, and their price, their ticket prices are reasonable. So, you you know, it's a good place to go see a, you know, show. I mean, obviously, I can go imagine that and find all this information. Yeah, so like you guys, go ahead. Am I uh, plugging it enough? March seventeenth, uh, <laughs> uh, Nathaniel Ratcliffe, the Night Sweats, or the Marat. I mean, that would be a great show to see. Um, I always promote these guys on March twenty first, Candlebox. Fuck yeah. It's going to be at Fort yeah, Wayne. Man. Great band. They're really good friends of mine. And, you know, we used to play pool together and all that stuff when I was in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, yeah, I remember at that At the Karma story. Records over there yeah. and stuff. Great guys. So That's badass, I always man. like to t talk about them. Great talk band. about a pinnacle 90s, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> their albums are good, too. All of them. Yeah, Even their yeah. newest one's good. Yeah. Um, also, great friends of ours on March 27th, Sloppy Seconds. Yeah! It's going to be at the Marat. I used to work with those guys at Karma Records. It's going Indy. to be at the, so, um, 
the deluxe. Which is the basement of the Marauders. Yes. Oh, yeah. And I will be there, and yeah, I will take really some smart. photos for the show. Yeah, this guy tried to force me into giving him a ride. He was like, hey, can I get you to commit? That was his words. Can I get you to commit uh -huh. to driving me? I'm like, whoa, dude, I'm not even a fan. I've never agreed to Listen, go. Listen, if you'll get your mom to let me drive her car, I'll go and if you buy my ticket. Well, well I've already <laughs> bought the you. tickets. Well, then to get your mom to let me drive her car and we'll go. I... Hey, if it's free, man, I'm getting it. Right. I didn't tell you that. It's... You said you got tickets. <laughs> I've anyway, got two man. tickets. You can to have them. Uh, uh, we had to say it. <laughs> All right. All right. Another David, 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 David. That's another. That's a David Lee Roth. <laughs> it was. Oh yes. My God. It was tickets to paradise. That was uh, David Lee Roth lyrics. <laughs> oh my God. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> While we're on local Somebody's shows and trying to divert what we just heard, uh, uh, our friends in Void King are playing Tuesday, February fourth at the Melody Inn. Oh yeah. So we had that yeah. big story, man. Yeah. Uh, well, that was. I posted that on our page, and I yeah. But yeah. Those guys are great. Donating a lot of money to the Australia yeah. fires and stuff. Um, for the animals. You know, for really the good guys to support. Very selfless what? act, guys. Yeah. Thank you for that. And, uh, man, unfortunately, being a Tuesday, I got to work. I, guys, mm, so. I uh, keep kicking myself for missing you guys. I want to go back. I know. I just told Jason the other night. I was like, I've got to get to a damn Void King show. It's stupid. I'm right. Come to Newcastle, yeah, fellas. We're going to make that a... a a right, field, trip. field trip. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yep. We're, we're, we're coming. We Imagine that's coming, Void King. Seeing Void King. Maybe not oh Tuesday, God. but soon. Listen, quit overreacting to that so people overlook it. Oh, Shush. God. All right, uh, another up, comedian. Up. Um, <clears throat> May 1st is uh, Bill Burr is going to be at the Murrow, too. I know a lot of Bill, people like that. Oh, dude, he's, dude, his cartoon, F is yeah. for Family. Yeah. If you guys yeah. haven't seen yeah. that, man, yes, wow. Yeah. It's um, wonderful. Bring him back like 70s comedy. Bill Burr, he's he's another one. He's been on Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah. Phenomenal comedian. Yeah. Uh, All right, here's some of the bigger ones for the summer. I'm going to try to go through. I'm going to go through these fast until I get to the new Deer Creek ones because we're going to get this going. Yeah, he's basically um, saying shut up, Bill. All right, um, <laughs> at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the 500 weekend, uh, on the 22nd, uh, May 22nd, you got REO and uh, Sticks. They're going to be. Yes. REO Speedwagon Sticks. That's going to be incredible. Bucket list. April, we're going to talk over that. And then you have on the next day, on the 23rd, Luke Bryan's going to be there. So yeah. that's some great shows for the 500 weekend. Absolutely. Um, People from all over the world will be there. Man. Here's a, here's a, this is a new one. Uh, on uh, May 22nd, 38 Special is going to be in Brown County. Neat. So Brown that's kind of cool. More yeah, no, more man. Probably not going to get very many more chances you know, to see that class. Good price, yeah, you know. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, June fourteenth, you got Maroon Five at Deer Creek. Uh, June twenty seventh, you got Journey and the Pretenders at Deer Creek. So that's cool. I wish they bring Steve Perry back. Uh, July second, you got Motley Crue with Poison and all them at Cincinnati. Uh, that'll be big. Uh, July sixteenth, you got Ooh. Lance Moore set at Deer Creek. Garbage. Oh, yeah, no. garbage. Uh, July 29th, you got Chicago and Rick Springfield at Deer Creek. Another great problem. Uh, yeah. July 30th, you got the Doobie Bros at Deer Creek. Doobie, um, Doobie, Doobie. August 16th, Black Crows at Deer Creek. Oh, um, yeah. Shake your money, make. Uh, August 22nd, you got Matchbox 20 at Deer Creek. Yeah. Make a Matchbox 20. September 11th, which is kind of a weird day, but Zach Brown is at Deer Creek. Yeah. All right. Now, here's the new one. So, we haven't really said. So, you know, you guys right, probably want to perk your ears up to this a little bit more. Oh, yeah. We got um, ready. On June 19th through, and June 20th, you have the annual Dave Matthews concerts at Deer Creek. So, keep that in mind. Uh, two oh, dates, sorry. Kyle, not yeah. three. You can smell the patchouli oil already. Yeah. <laughs> Which I Hippies. don't have a problem with patchouli. But that's... <laughs> Goes along with the dead. Nah, so, Dave Matthews, yeah. man, great live band. They sell out both dates every yeah, year. It's always big. Uh, big party, yeah, man. Um, so that's the reason why. why June twentieth, Billy Joel is going to be at Notre Dame. Oh, that's man. a good one. That would be man. really good to see. Never didn't even know that one. Was Notre good. Dame's a beautiful college to visit. Anyway, I've seen a football game there. Yeah. Seeing Billy Joel there, that'd be and great. Like we said, this is Kyle's favorite band, but June 26th, Nickelback and Stone Temple Pilots going to be at Deer Creek. So. Uh, yeah, if we're lucky, uh, <laughs> Jeff Gutt will still be under the... I think this anyway. Is, I think this will be... 
Don't get Kyle excited. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. He's yeah, been off his rocker ever since that candle bit. Yeah, I know. He just ain't acting right. Uh, yeah. July 5th, I think this would be fun. Bare naked, I shouldn't say this in front of Kyle. Bare naked ladies. <laughs> Uh, no, he's into Jim me. Blossoms okay. and Toad Wet Sprocket are going to be a beer crew. Yeah, yeah, big 90s, man. They Toadbots. were all kind of like underground, not huge bands, but still, dude, that's a great nostalgic lineup. Oh, yeah. That, both, of those, both of those bands suck. Whatever. You know, yeah, I knew Blow, so yeah, what? Yeah, exactly. She sweats the Blow. He swallows that's right. Man. All right, uh, <laughs> this is always a classic, too. Uh, July 11th. Is uh, Jimmy Buffett's going to be at Deer Creek? So, parent heads will be out in force for that. I tell my parents, they love people watching, man. They hey, liquor stores, lock up your rum. <laughs> <Nope. laughs> They're coming. Say hi to Dave Lawson on there. So hi, Dave Lawson. Dave oh, Lawson. Man. <laughs> Dave, I miss you, man. I want to hang out with you one of these days, buddy. Um, bro, all right, all right uh, up, Dave. man, I am definitely going to go see this one. July 17th, Buddy Guy and Johnny Lang are going to be together at White River. That'd be a damn good one. I mean, I've seen uh, both of them. Incredible. I love the time I got to see Buddy Guy at the Vogue. And he was just getting trashed on stage <laughs> doing shots. And he just finally sits in and he still looks at everybody and he goes, I'll tell you this, motherfuckers. Eric Clapton, that white boy, don't have shit on me. He started wailing on the guitar. It's not wrong. I, I, I was just, my mouth dropped open. I was just like, wow. You know true talent when um, he is that trash and still yeah. play. Uh, uh, I, I seen him at one of those Broad Ripple Blues Fest. And real funny, I know we're trying to move along, but uh, my mom and dad found a random CD behind their TV upstairs, and it was a Johnny Lang CD. And I've had it in my car uh, well up until today, but I just got into that guy. Yeah, Where have I been? Great, uh, great, awesome blues album. I can't remember which one it is, yeah. but that dude, yeah. that and Buddy Guy's got to be getting up there in age. Oh, yeah, so he is. that's yeah. a living legend that we all need to go see. Um, so this would be a fun show. July twenty second, Hollow Notes and yeah. Squeeze is going to be at Squeeze. Deer Creek. Hall July twenty second. Yeah. Yeah. Hall and Oates. I'll oh, man, age. great. Um, Dude, they kind of go along yeah. with uh, Huey Lewis and the News. Just innovative songs. So many great uh, <laughs> classics and bucks. <laughs> now, listen about Hall and Oates, though. I'm serious, though. For people that think that, that they only have the song Man Eater, oh, Private sure, Eye, oh. dig into their catalog. Yeah. They're actually extremely talented. Yeah, yeah. They They're are. like the cars, man. Every yeah. song's a hit. Yeah. yeah. Great you don't know it until you realize it. You know, yeah. you start looking it up and um, hit after hit. Now, I'm not saying all the country shows because we're not. Huge fans at Deer Creek, but the big ones, um, July 22nd, Kenny Chesney's going to be at Deer Creek, um, so that'll be a big one. Yeah, um, Get ready to buy new panties, man, because your ladies <laughs> yeah. will be throwing them on stage. The women love him. No, no, no. Uh, I know uh, Scott's torn underwear with the brown stain. I, you know, I, 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 I know. I said Kenny Thank Chesney, you. you started yeah. getting the heart on. Unfortunately. I know, man. I started getting no. poked in the side. I thought my phone was buzzing, which is all the way over here. Yeah, it's fine. What, what is up with that? Credit than he deserves. Yeah, right, I'd love to see Jack Johnson. Um, Jack what? Jack Johnson. Oh, he's talking about. Yeah, these country guys get a bad rap, man, but they're awesome. Some of them are. Yeah, they're is Kane right. Brown one of them's coming too? I haven't heard that. Is he opening for somebody? I, I, I don't know. Who? Katie Brown? Um, Kane Brown? He's oh. popular mm -hmm. for some reason. Uh, July 25th, uh, <laughs> Foreigner, Kansas, and Europe going to be at Deer Creek. Yeah, that's one of Oh, yeah, dude. I man. Yeah, man. I, yeah. I'd <laughs> yeah. watch Europe play that song over and over. That's going to be a good I show. Would. I bet they've got other good songs. Uh, but oh, yeah. Other <laughs> I carry. <laughs> carry, yeah. Rock the Night. Superstitious. You want to keep going? I don't you remember it. Yeah. The name Carrie super that song because my wonder. stupid oh, sister's yeah. name is Carrie. Different yeah, one. Had a different I hate version. my sister. Their, their own song I think, called that. I think for that show we should make uh, Bill do his hair like they did back then. Hair spray it all up and have it there. <laughs> Give him a ring with balls uh, and shit. Man, I'll have to get with Kenny on that. He's the expert on spiking oh, hair. Like I, that. I've never done it. Like when I used to have short hair, I spiked it. But long hair, Scott keeps getting on to me about we got letting the, my hair we down. We got to hang out with Kenny yesterday. And happy yeah. birthday to Richie Huck. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday, Huck. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, awesome. Man, his band, uh, uh, we were going to say it later, they're going to be yeah. in uh, Lafayette tonight. Uh, Bizarre New War. Yeah. Uh, they're, they've been around for a while, but... Richie just started playing drums. They got um, kind of a Mr. Bungle 
They're yeah, weird, man. Yeah. I, it's, they have like stripper dancers, uh, burlesque yeah. dancers on stage yeah, with them. Really freaking cool costumes. It um, it's weird, but live, dude, I, I'd love if it was closer uh, and sooner, man. I hopefully, like Richie said, they'll be in Newcastle yeah. soon. Uh, there's uh, there, there's links to their stuff on our page. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, July twenty eighth. This is one of my favorite bands, Tedeschi Truck Band. That's with Derek yeah. Trucks and you know Susan Tedeschi. Tedeschi. Yeah. Incredible uh, no blues rock. If you want to check them out, they're at White River. I love that. Man. Um, Neat. This is a really great place to see July 31st. Leonard Skinner's final show is going to be at White River. Oh, man. oh okay. you know, a small place like that. This will be their final show. So uh, awesome, get dude. a chance. You know, uh, this awesome. is another panty dropper for Deer Creek. August second, Jason Aldean is gonna be there. Oh, so, wow. you know, <laughs> Man. Thought he was right. No, no, no. Yeah, shit. Who's with him? Be glad uh, I'm not on I, I Kyle right, right now, man. man. We're so, seeing you know, that horrendous. Wild, he is good. I've actually things. seen him, but I don't give a shit. Awesome. No, so, oh, and uh, like uh, Bill was saying earlier, uh, un- just unheard of fish. On August 7th, 8th, and 9th is going to be at Deer Creek. Yeah, um, man. Three I'm telling you, it'll be something. I know a funny story on this. Uh, last time fish, uh, I, I ran the Carmen Anderson, uh-huh. and I went over to McDonald's, and I, went, I, need, yeah, uh, I needed a ketchup, you know, and the oh, manager yeah. was like going, I go, why don't you have any ketchup out? You know, I was kind of pissy about it, and he goes, I can't because all the fish people keep stealing it to make tomato soup. <laughs> and I was like, you kidding Weird, me? Then he, point, then he points out to the front and the sprinklers are on and a bunch of people are taking bass I out of the sprinklers. I, I guarantee this that. is hilarious. I mean, this is how nuts these guys get. I'm yeah, telling you. Uh, yeah. uh, 96 or 97, Damn, I was going to see uh, Pantera. And yeah. uh, Fish was playing like two or three days after Pantera. So the hippies were already at uh, Pine Lakes, which is a camp right near Deer Creek. And my mom, I missed my ride, so I conned my mom into giving me a ride, and we passed Pine Lakes, and all the hippies were lined up with balloons along the fence, and, you know, you hippies, you know what was in those balloons. My mom was like, what's going on over there, a carnival? <laughs> you know, God love my mom, but she had no idea what was going on. It was the hippies and their laughing oh, gas. Nitrous. But Nitrous. seriously, Sam yeah. Forker, man, I got to get in touch with you. If you're going to any of those indie fish mm-hmm. shows, I want to hook up with you and see fish for the first time. Yeah. But more importantly, hang out with you. Uh, the last paint dropper, uh, September 25th, Tim McGraw's at Deer Creek. Yeah. That's oh. the last one there. So. He's a seasoned veteran, so we'll give it to him. Uh, yeah. Something that, uh, speaking of concerts and news announcements and stuff, something that is on our page as well that neither one of these cats have ever mentioned yeah. is uh, Roger Waters from Pete Floyd. Oh, I had that story. How did I miss that? It wasn't on the list of the um, internet. I, I wrote I it somewhere in this mass. Roger Waters from Pink Floyd has announced a new North American tour. Oh, it's because he's not doing an Indianapolis tour. Right. That's why I didn't see it. It's Uh, such a big deal. I'm assuming people from Indiana uh, will definitely go. Oh, it'll be worth uh, Cincinnati Cincinnati. and Chicago. Uh, Nashville's not a bad drive either. And for the first time, he's going to perform in the round. And and I'm telling you guys, I got to see him and I've got to see Pink Floyd a few times. And if you want to have the experience of Pink Floyd, I've seen Roger. This is a. This is yeah. really close to it. Absolutely. I mean, it really is. So, if you really want the Pink Floyd experience, yes. it's not going to ever happen again. Right. Go to the show. You'll yeah. be glad you uh, I read just a smidgen about it. He said, like, he thrives on always pushing the envelope, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'll, I'm, I'm not going to mention my favorite band, but I always say they've got, like, one of the biggest, most innovative shows. But one guy I will always say trumps them. He's always ahead of the game. Like his technology is just unheard of. Yeah, dude, yeah. Roger Waters. He like put speakers like, in the back of the yeah. lawn to surround the sound. Oh better. man, I mean, it's, um, it's really cool, man. I, possibly a cooler show than Romstein. I don't know, but Who's I mean, this guy. Band, Bill? I'm not gonna say it, Kyle. Yeah. I don't need to say it, man. Roger Waters, uh, first <laughs> first time in the round, so he's trying something new. Yeah, it'll, and, it'll uh, be amazing, guaranteed. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look up some videos of like Probably when he created the wall. Seen him too. Yeah. So. And we, Roger, I think he is everybody here can uh, say seeing bands in the rounds is a. 
very cool with you. Yeah, yeah like, I've yeah, never like, seen a band in the rain. Well, I mean, we went to that Metallica I've show. Seen Metallica and ran around. It was great. Okay. Oh, a couple others. I can't that that band's mm-hmm. never been in the rounds that you love? Nuke Tool's <laughs> never played in the round. I, I fucking it. said it. Ah, there you go. He got me. I'm sorry for anybody that had tonight's show on the poll. You just lost. Tool has never played in the round, but I bet they played in a parallelogram. <laughs> just because, you know, they're so mathematical and shit, you know. Um, <laughs> they, played, you know they played in a parallelogram. Yeah, Slayer never round. did a round yeah. stage either, man. They don't um, need to. They're about to be set on fire. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get to the... Um, I, just a quick update on the new CDs that came out. Oh. We already mentioned Eminem. Uh, Breaking Benjamin comes out this week, so that'll be a big one. Oh, yeah. And I, I don't know, this is freaking cool to me. Pet Shop Boys yeah. coming out with a new CD this man, week. How long so. has it been for them, dude? Years. Yeah, I know, man. Uh, way, I mean, it's up on them like Huey Lewis and shit. Uh, yeah, so, absolutely. I wonder I mean, if it's all original members. Yeah. That'd be worth looking into. I wow, seen. this is weird. Tina Haddon is watching the show. Can you believe that? Who? Tina. <laughs> The boss, Why man. Why is she watching? I know, hey. Freaking boss is always hovering <laughs> over our shoulders. She is, she is. All up in our business. You know what, Mike? Yeah. I just had an epiphany. You should marry that girl. I know, man. She She's hot. She has a nice name. She is so hot. I mean, yeah, I heard know. she can cook, too. She can cook. I think I had some of her stuff a little earlier. I know. Chicken she invited me over one yeah, time. Don't tell Mike. Uh, all right. <laughs> well, this week... Uh, we always try to do a top ten list, and oh yeah, well uh, we said uh, Pearl Jam's coming out March twenty seventh. Okay, so. one last live show yeah. just because it's local, man. Scooters Bar and Grill. If you guys are bored tonight, uh, Jay Davis and the Funky Yard Dogs are playing. Yeah, uh, those guys are really good. Been uh, around the block a long time. Yeah, I don't know them guys. Oh, I do. They're great. Yeah, I'm really, I've seen them several times. They're a great band to see local. Okay, I mean, and, um, yeah. And just uh, another uh, album release for us metalheads that love Down and Crowbar and stuff like that. Oh, uh, yeah. Kirk Wein- Winstein's solo album dropped yesterday. It's a double oh. album or something, I think. Uh, it's just a single. Oh, okay. It's, it's okay. ten songs. And Devil Driver. Devil yeah, Driver. Yeah, man, he's album. working on some new yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The singer for Cold Chamber, yeah. Devil Driver. Yeah. Yeah. Devil. Yeah. I think it's going to be like a two-disc yeah. set, yeah. man. Double disc. <laughs> Yeah, if you like if you like down crowbar and stuff, Kirk yeah. so album drop, check it out. It's yeah, cool. pretty Doom metal? heavy. Yeah. Huh. Doom stone or metal, yeah. But crowbar is only just been Kurt, so Well, I mean technically yes, but this album's by his name. Yeah. It's not crowbar. So. All right, let's get to uh Shut up, Kyle. It's the, called Dream in Motion, right? Yeah. yeah. David Lawson says Lil Wayne has a new CD dropping on Friday. Hey, we Ooh. gotta give love to Little Wayne's got a new CD coming oh, out. Wow. Rap fans. Yeah, I know we got a bunch. He's apparently going to pick the world up and drop it on our fucking heads. Lawson, I'm serious, man. We need to get together and hang sometimes. Little soon, Wayne. Buddy. Oh. I miss you, man. Scissor. Yeah. I, um, <laughs> all right, so we do a top ten list every week. Uh, uh, this one was the hardest one of all. Cause every, I, we could have wrote a fucking book on it. But oh, it's my the gosh. Top. 10 one hit wonders this Freaking week. Kyle, man, um, him and his ideas. I yeah, know, he kept bitching about Always it. Always hounding us. What's the list, guys? The boss wanted to do it. Yeah, she. Because most of them are 80s music or anything else. <laughs> I swear you could pick almost every 80s song as a hit one hit wonder almost. Don't come sit on my right. last yeah, yeah, From different yeah. eras. So. Uh, All right, Kyle, do you got a couple you want to throw our way? Mike actually listened to my 10 this week. Just. Aha. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, Take on me at ten. Mm-hmm. Eagle Eye Cherry, uh, Save the Night at nine. That's, That's a good song. The, the, I love that the, song. The lady that made me think of this whole list, Julie Brown, the Homecoming Queen's got a gun at eight. <laughs> what? You, know, you, have a little, you have a little tune in that voice of yours? I've never never heard that I, I before. Never, okay. Okay. I'm right there here. Uh, I, that was weird. Uh, man. Frank, Frank Zappa at number seven with Valley Girl. <laughs> Was that a hit? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't call Frank Zappa one hit wonder. Yeah. I mean, it was technically his only hit. Okay. I we would you gotta give him that. that. Alright. I mean, it's all subject to your own opinion. We'll let him pick this top ten list and he's fucking it up already. Fuck so you. Know, throwing out um, a name like Zappa. Dexy's Midnight Runner, come on, Eileen. Dick, I'm not sure. That always makes me mad. Me too. Mm. Um, he's five, you're a five. 
He copied my freaking mm -hmm. list. Okay. And, I swear and, to God, if you uh, Rick Springfield, Jesse's girl, that four. Was, that was that's he was not a one you um, wonder either. Three. He's quite right. Mental um mental health. Flight Riot had more yeah. nothing kids. Yeah. Come on, fill the noise was before that one. Yeah, yeah dude. dude. This, this was know, his man. idea. Oh, he know. starts He's hounding us every like Monday. Did you uh, every Monday. Monday. Yeah, Guys, man. what's the if list? Frank's what's the list? Wonder, why has he got a Grace Hits CD? Yeah. That's well, a good I'm question. Ready to debunk that. Give Te me a minute. Touche. Technically, it was his only hit. Um, <laughs> Joey Scarborough. Technically, um, Technically you're a douche. Walking on Air at 2. Mm. And on Purple Harem at number 1 with Whiter Shade of Pale. You're on Purple Heroin? That explains <laughs> it. I said it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good God. Oh, my God. I thought it was the candle bit that got him off track. It's that like purple heroin. As if this guy wasn't a fucking Kyle Dangerfield over there. Man. Fuck you all. Are you going to do this? He was already a parasite. No respect. No respect. A parasite Jeez, sitting in the corner. Now he's got a purple heroin addiction. I will Good give Lord. you a God help him. All right, man, even though Kyle photocopied my list, I'll throw <laughs> it out there. Um, of course, Europe, final countdown, because... The greatest, him, Scott! Uh, him. Skip over the ones. Uh, the greatest keyboard solo ever. Mm -hmm. uh, don't You Forget About Me, man, that's just classic. Uh, Ooh, Breakfast I Club. Did, did that song. You know his favorite song, One Hit Honor, is Rain and Men. So, you, know you. That. <laughs> you know, it's every night in his apartment, man. I drove by. I seen the parties you have. Listen, <laughs> one night they were dressed like fuzzy animals, and but I knew it was men under them. Hey, yeah. it may be raining suits. iguanas in Florida, but it's raining men in Kyle's apartment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't write all, all right. Keep all going, these. Uh, right. Electric Avenue, man, that's a killer ah, one hit right wonder. Uh, Melt with you, man. Um, uh, another one, Kyle stole. Come on, Eileen. Uh, Tainted Love, man, it's been done by so many artists, but One Hit Wonder. Rapper's Delight, dude, that's a funky jam. Mm. Uh, no, that's a good one. Uh, My Sharona, uh, that's no, just that's a that's a good time, time dance song. Here's a here's one that'll throw you off your rockers. Touch of Grey, technically, was their only hit. That, that's what I'm saying yeah. about fucking Zappa. I got you, man. Yeah. Like uh, it, it goes by like popularity. As many songs as you could pick, I would not agree with either one of those. But go ahead. It was like their only radio song. Yeah, that's, I know what you're saying. Um, and then I I gotta give a shout out, man. Three Little Pigs because it was a one hit wonder. Yeah. When I talk <laughs> Green a, Jello, everybody's yeah. like, "Who?" I say Three Little Pigs, and they know who I'm talking about. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and he opens every show with that to get it out of the way. It still sounds just as awesome. Um, a man by a band I won't mention done the voice of the Three Little Pigs for that song. Yeah, yeah. and that band wouldn't exist without Green Jello. Yep, yeah. cool. That's All right, um, <laughs> you got any? I, I honestly I didn't write a list this week because there's so <laughs> many to choose from. I know it was. I um, really did not like this one. I um, and I know they're so hey, uh, they're just like yelling them out and such, but like I mean, I did my list at like well, six fifty nine. Well, Kasha you know, two shots. I, I I thought of you, you know, because when I did mine, my... Mike, are you touching so, the leg? Yes, yeah. Well, you know, if you we weren't on camera, it'd be don't, more than that. So yeah, shut up and don't be jealous. Um, but I had to. Here's two Better songs I I thought of you when I there. did this. Okay. What about right said Fred? I'm too sexy. Yeah. <laughs> well. That was definitely a one hit wonder. Oh, sure. uh, Lord, man. That was but, still, you can't deny it. We all listen how to about, that. Watch the video. How about Los Del Rio, Macarena? Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> there's that. But yeah, there's Kaja Goo Goo, Too Shy. Or how about Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby? That was definitely one hit wonder. What? Wasn't that it? Yeah, yeah. Thompson Twins. I love that jam. Boys I forgot Carrie. About No, that was not there. Couple, not there. couple honorable mentions. You know you guys always sing these songs when they come on the radio. Mickey. Yeah, yeah. Tony Basil. Basil. God, I hate that song. Yeah, I know. She was in the yeah, phone. You, you hear that song that sticks in your head. And you Before Deep Purple. You when I, jump when I cliff. start to hear that song, I change radio. But here's, yes. a, here's one just as bad. Who Let the Dogs Out? Oh, oh yeah, yeah man. Team. That was a big Baja box. Man. Baja Man. Yeah. Yeah. Slam by Onyx. Or how about Criss Cross? Jump, jump. 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 Yeah. 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 Remember another bad creation? 
Uh, yeah. Crisscross stole their idea from no. that. 99 Loft Balloons. See, uh, you start throwing these songs no, out no, and you remember. Too many of them. Yeah, that's why, but, that's uh, why we couldn't write a list. Now, here's a couple that I did personally like. You know, you had Four Nine Blondes. What's uh, going on? That's a good one. They that's had more one. great songs that should have been hits. Uh, Joan Osborne, What If God Was One of Us. Yeah. Uh, yeah I like Dr. Evil's version. Great song. Didn't Paula Cole, Where of All the Cowboys? Yeah, yeah, that was a good song, too. Meredith Brooks' uh, bitch. bitch. Yeah. That's a How about Soft Silk, Tainted Love? Yeah, well, she, he said that. Oh, did he? Yeah, okay. yeah Manson's got a good version of that. Which, a lot of brought, which was brought back to life later by Manson. Mm. Or, uh, well, it's a lot of people. How about uh, Norman Greenbaum and Spirit in the Sky? That's oh, one of the old yeah, time. that's a killer I, jam. I forgot I was going to debunk Elvis' statement a minute ago about how can they have greatest hits or one greatest hits if they have a greatest hits record and right. that would be my one and only one hit wonder with Ram Jam with Black Betty oh yeah that's a good because yeah. they have a greatest hits it's got 21 yeah. fucking songs on I guarantee nobody's heard yeah. you know, one other track yeah good. like it goes by radio play I got a friend who watches for Turner to do that song yeah. to Black Betty oh I was a, <laughs> yeah man I was a big fan of 10,000 oh yeah that was a great band mm-hmm. I, Love Natalie Merchant. Uh, uh, and one. Maniacs. Oh, with Robert England. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. band was named yeah. after that movie. Yeah. My yeah. my number one and personal favorite, if I had to kind of pick one, was Blind Melon No Rain. Yeah, yeah dude. Was, uh, Unfortunately, we yeah. talked about that sad story, man. Yeah. Hey, oh. we got a, we got a new visitor. Hey, Rogue has up, came Rogue? to see yeah. you all. We have been blessed all right, all right. with the great Rogue, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. My Sadie's yeah. going to be so my mad. Baby. Now I'm going to have to bring Sadie because yeah. she's going to be pissed. She's pissed enough when I get home that I cheated on her, petting Rogue. Uh, now she's going to want to be on camera. Oh, so. no. Well, you that's have, it. That's all for the top that 10. You have that kind of relationship with your dog. I love my dog, man. I sure do. Yeah, dog, I will not deny dogs. the relationship I you have. You know, like they dog. always say, if you don't like dogs, they're, you know, you're, you're a bad person. You're heartless, person. man. It speaks volumes no. for your character. L- listen, yeah. I have a daughter now. Her name's Coco. It's my little puggle. Me and April's puggle. That's my girl. Anybody your little puddle? Is that what you said? Well, there's that too. But <laughs> puggle. Oh, it's an T. Lisa puddle. I, I, no, I it's don't. It's bad enough we got to watch <laughs> Kyle over there <laughs> flicking oh, yeah. that well, thing. I, I call his puggle to the left. That's right. If you read that. Is it a puggle? Pug? It's a puggle. Pug and a bee. Pug and a bee. Pug and a bee. But it's just a little brown. It's so fucking cute. That was our first dog together. I love I love my Bam Bam. And then he died. And I cried. She's my girl. But that is our top ten list. That's pretty much it for the week, I guess, guys. Now, oh, yeah. I want to say shout out to Sam Porter. He's not doing real well. Yeah, but uh, yeah, saw that, man. Jackie, love you guys. And oh, you guys yeah, know man. we love you to death. So all the to... support you guys have given us, and Sam, I've known you, man, just about as long as I can remember. Same. Yeah. Uh, so we wish you the best of luck on um, uh, a speedy recovery. You bro. know, always give a shout out to all the local guys. Try to be out there and support them. Yeah. You know. Uh, Waylon Thompson, try to see him. Uh, Sherman. Sherman Stockton, Johnny Freeze, those guys have been playing a little bit more. So be Heck able yeah. to uh, see them uh, whenever you can. Support your local, art, local artists. Like I said, Scooters has a great band tonight. Yeah, um, get out and see them. Go see them. I, it's free, I think. So you could. Uh, it, it'll be one of the uh, better shows that you'll see oh, around yeah. Newcastle. Um, and Scooters was a great place to see a band. So this parasite's got something to say over Should here. Should we uh, tell Sam my t-shirt since he always loves my t-shirts? What you got on t-shirt wise? I am wearing my People's um, Temple Jonestown t-shirt. Jonestown. Jones. Jim Jones and the Kool Aid Man. Uh, yeah. Basically, yeah. What a dork. Mine's awesome. better. Mm. Texas Chainsaw. Yeah. Selfless. I, I, I forgot to change. I've got this geeky shirt on. Uh, yeah. well, I got, hey, I got my Imagine Music skateboard team. One of the Back in the yeah. day. This the show store. wouldn't exist without uh, Imagine. We had a skateboard team, and actually, um, I, I'm really proud to say that uh, me and Pastor Tom at First Methodist Church in Newcastle, we are the ones who started the skate park and got it, got it uh, rolling. And then some other there. people stepped in and got got it kind of built. But um, it, Heck yeah, man. Um, me and Pastor Tom really put our heart and souls into getting that started. So Heck yeah. Thank you guys uh, for that. That was awesome. Remember that. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, one last Great note, too. Um, uh, I, I had some really good news. I want to say this because I have a lot of friends that watch. You know, I've been up for a kidney transplant. Yeah. I did find out Friday 
Uh, I have a couple man. more tests, and then I'm on call, and I will get my kidney transplant here real soon. Heck yeah, so man. So I've been blessed by the man yeah. above that I'm finally going to, um, it looks really close to get that mm -hmm. kidney transplant. And I want to thank you all yes. for um, your, you. giving me your prayers and blessings um, uh, on Facebook and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. Like so I said, much. that's why we do this show. Yep. Friends, family, and the music is the best medicine. And, and we just it. want to spread that love to you guys. And uh, it's just great to see some of the people that, you know, we don't get to talk to very often. So follow our page. We have more music and news than any Spin, Rolling Stone, or any of those. You know, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll make Bob and Tom look like crap, you know, and uh, right put them to shame. So, but, one and go no check place. out our new YouTube page. Yes. Yeah, our videos, subscribe. man. Yeah, go all you have to do is go to Facebook. We got that right there. All you have to do is click on it and then subscribe, and then you'll get all kinds of stuff. And like mm -hmm. I said, it'll help us get more free stuff from the record labels to give you guys <laughs> yep. as much as we can. So. Facebook's been good to us, man, but YouTube is With where that. it's really at. So yep. we need your guys' yep. support. Uh, our friend Eric helped get some videos Eric on there. The um, yeah, man, yep. unfortunately, he's under the weather tonight. Could be here. But, yes, thank you, Eric. Um, yep. It's a pinned post on our page. So scroll down to the first post, and you'll see the link. Yep. Like I said, there are videos. People were complaining we didn't have enough content. It's on there. There is now. Um, right. You know, thank you all for Shout all the support. Shout out to my Aunt Hi, so, man. All right. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. We um, love you. Love you all. all thank right. you for suffering through my news. Have a good week, guys. You did good, Bill. We love you. you thank you. You did good. Thank you. <laughs>